Hello my lovelies, Libra, this is going to be your week ahead. Let's see what we've got going on for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus from April 8th to the 15th. What do we need to know? What is your central theme this week? Libras, what do they need to know? Moon and Sagittarius, Discovery 21. Freedom and Adventure. I love how on here there's like a spaceship that's being launched, a shuttle. And so, I mean, you could live in a place that's near one of those, but really I see this as it's like you're having a breakthrough, almost like they're telling me lift off. So you might have been really stuck and stagnant for a while and all of a sudden something's about to change that catapults you forward at a great rate of speed and gets you to step out of your comfort zone and discover some new things. So a period of discovery this week. All right, what do we need to know for love for Libra? Sun, moon, and rising. Libra. All right, Libra, let's see what's going on for you for love for the next seven days. Sorry, I had to pause and take the puppy outside. He's got a tiny little bladder, that one, and he needs to go pee like a hundred thousand times a day anymore. So we are back, but I'm slightly out of breath because I just ran up the stairs to finish your reading. What does Libra need to know for the next seven days? Woo, buddy. All right, Libra. So we start with a lot of sudden changes with lightning. So it could be shocking news, a surprise, an epiphany, bringing upheaval and transformation. Um, Mercury in retrograde as a whole is kind of about transformative energy. We also have an eclipse on the 8th. So there could be some things that are sudden and shocking that come in for you. I feel like ultimately it leads to a beautiful period of discovery and transformation. It could also be some insane chemistry between you and another person that maybe someone reveals their feelings. And it could also be a new phase that's coming into your life or you are renewing or transforming something bringing growth and a changed mind. <sighs> Deep breath, let's get some oxygen flowing. What do we need to know from our dragons for the next seven days? What do the dragons have for the sign of a Libra? Too many, let's see. We're gonna take these top two and one more. Oh, we had another one that flipped over. So you get a couple of them this time. All right, we start with the mirror. You might need to do some shadow work. Remember that the reflection staring back at you can either be a beautiful thing or a negative thing, and it is a matter of perception. I feel like you also have these entities, these dragons with you that are trying to show you that it can be beautiful. So maybe you have a sudden breakthrough and go, you know what, it's not as bad as I thought. The new world. So you might be entering a new world. We are starting to see the uh, activation of the fourth D starting to move to the 5D for our new world, our new earth. So you are going to notice major disconnects between certain energies on the planet. Low vibrational frequencies are probably going to stay on the 3D dimensional planet and we are starting to slowly separate from the 3D to the 4D, the 4D to the 5D. It's our period of enlightenment for our new world or our new earth. Don't lose hope that things can change for the better. I know sometimes it seems really dark, but remember that saying, it's always darkest before the dawn. There's something in your life that you need to keep hope alive that things can transform or change for the better. Spirit's advising that you don't lose hope that it can. And they also want you to know that love is, is the cure to most problems. So operate in your heart space this week. Operate out of a feeling of love, affection for yourself and others. What's that old saying? Kill them with kindness. Definitely operate from your heart space this week and use the vibration of love. All right, what do we need to know for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for the next seven days? Libras, what do we need to know? You are packing your bags and leaving something from the past behind. Could be financial worries are also improving and that they are getting better, so less worry about money. Could also be that you're blocking somebody and leaving them out in the cold. We also have the King of Swords, who I call Mr. Grumpy. He's kind of somebody who's off in his own world a lot of times. He's very wise. 
He's somebody who is a great advisor, but he's also someone you don't want to be on their bad side. So take some caution with that. It could be a boss, an advisor. It could also be a partner or even a parent. And I would say that this person means well, but they don't always communicate well. And there could be communication breakdowns for you as well. So use caution during this month of April. We're going to have Mercury in retrograde till the 25th. And so that brings a lot of technology glitches, transportation issues, as well as communication barriers and breakdowns. You could also be seeing bats, ravens, uh, ravens or crows. I can never tell on that card if that's a raven or a crow. Uh, dragonflies and owls, all are symbolic of change, transformative energy, as well as spiritual enlightenment. We have the king of wands as well. So this is about following your passions. Somebody who's very courageous, a natural leader. So these might be two people that are helping you. It could be like a parent and a partner, could be coworkers, things like that, spouses. You're going to have to have courage and wisdom in order to transform. We do have the Empress. So this is the Divine Feminine in Tarot. She symbolizes creation, nurturing the things that you want to grow, as well as pregnancy and fertility. So it's fertile ground to create something that will actually be successful. The trick is this week, you're going to have to leave what doesn't serve you behind to get to the really good stuff. And some of that is leaving the past behind as well. It's like some things may resurface while we're in Mercury and retrograde, but know that you can leave these things behind, especially if they were painful and you can transform the energy into success. So I feel like you're going to be cast in the spotlight. There could be some public recognition rewards, um, or like things like public speaking or performing in the front of a large pe large group of people. But some positive changes are coming if you're willing to leave it all behind. So remember that we have our central theme as it's a week of freedom and discovery. Have a great week. We'll see you soon.